Hello everybody, welcome to more Ghost of Shishima tips. Now, today guys, I'm going to show you the locations of all the bamboo cuttings, which you'll cut through your sword and it increases your resolve. Now, resolve can be used for multiple things, which is why this is worth doing. The first thing is your resolve can be used to heal yourself. Um, as you progress in the game through Mythic Tales, you will learn new skills, which I don't think we can do when we're not in combat. But basically your resolve will allow you to do those skills. And on top of that, there's also this skill, which is one of the best skills in the game. Um, it takes you have to have three resolve to be able to do that, which is why it's worthwhile doing these. So what you want to keep an eye out is for these where it's got cut bamboo. And what we're gonna do is you can if you want to, you can turn it off in accessibility. At the moment I've got it timed. So what you have to do is you have to press the buttons. And you have to time it well now the further you get the more tricky it can get sometimes you'll get some real easy ones and other times you'll mess up like i did there so xx and there we go you have three ones you have to do if you go into accessibility yeah simplified controls will allow you um to not have it timed if you're struggling with those Anyway, let's show you the location of all of the bamboo cuttings. Okay, so in terms of locations for these guys, we'll start from the bottom of the map and work our way up. So starting at the bottom, literally about as far down in Azamo as you can go, literally in Az Azamo Bay, you will find this one here. So we'll name this number one and let's jump off straight to the next one. Okay, and here we go. This is number two, guys. This one is just um, in Tusutsu. Um, you want to go north, uh, northwest from the login base, literally on the rustling bend corner. So that always appears on the maps. So pretty easy to find there. So you just want to follow that river down, and it's literally right there. Let's head to the next one. And here's our next one. This is in the Ariake region. Um, this one it's just south of Huron's Pasture, um, north of Key Pond. Uh, it's basically best way to find it. Go straight south from the Golden Temple till you find the river, and just follow the river. On to the next one. Okay, and here's the next one, people. Um, this one is in the Komatsu region. It is in Komatsu Forge just on the southwestern end if you found the banner guide just keep going west from him and you'll find it be a bit of a more zoomed out one right there just right there right let's head to the next one okay here's the next one you have a lovely view when you do this one this one is right next to the white dye trader so that means it is in Kashin, and it's on wanderers pass there's a nice zoomed out picture of the map for those of you. Um, best way to follow this one is to follow down the mountain from Komoda Town. And you'll find this one. Head to the next one. Okay, for this one, guys, you want to go to Hiyoshi Springs. It's right kind of on the northern edge of Hiyoshi Springs. Um, it is a little bit out of the way, so... You may have to run around a little bit for this one. If you try and find a waterfall, quite a big waterfall, know that it's on top of there. It's took away by this fire. Here you another view of the map. Zoomed in on this one. Just there. Right, next one. Okay, and this is the last one for Act 1. This one is in Komoda town i believe this could be the very first one you actually will find yourselves um, but just in case you missed it when you were here previously go to Komoda town kind of right just of the actual icon you just want to go a little bit southeast uh, it's kind of in the middle of a fort and you just want to grab this one here and then the next ones will be moving into act two Okay, so now we're in Act 2. Look at him. Can we kill him? Nope. Anyway, okay. So for Act 2, guys, um, when you get Castle Canada, you'll move up here. And it's kind of in old Togo Rice Fields, just on the left. 
quite hard to miss this one because it's a very narrow path that you have to come from. Um, there's not much you can go off to the sides to really do here. Uh, and you just want to grab that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, here we are at the next one. This is the uh, Ar Yuri Yarikawa one. Um, this one from the Yarikawa stronghold, you just want to go east. You find it there, just on the corner. Grab that one. And then we'll head over to the next one. Okay, so this is the Umuyi one. This one, you want to go down to Umugi Cove and just keep going west from Umugi Cove. One's up on the mountain by the ocean, but it can be quite difficult to miss. Um, as long as you just follow the coast along the ocean, you can't really miss this one. And grab this one and then we'll move to the next one. Okay, Kushi one this time, guys. Another one on the coast. Give a nice view when you're doing this one. Um, this one is just north of Kushi. Um, if you follow the coast up from the Black Dye Merchant, keep following the coast, you will find this one. And the only other way you can miss it is if you're down there. If you are down there, just have a look up. Just show you one last quick map view of this one before we move to the next one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, this is the next one. This is the one of Duna Bamboo Strike. This one, you're going to find it right there. So it's just a tiny bit north of Olmi Village. Um, still technically in it. South of Kabara Forest. And you want to grab that one and then we'll move to the next one. Okay, and then we've got this one, another one with a nice view. Um, this one is kind of right in the middle between Omi and um, which one? Ushi. So this one you could probably get if you go left to right, those ones. Uh, just grab the Kubara strike, show you it zoomed out south of Kubara. And that will be it for the Act 2 one, guys. The next ones will require you to have entered Act 3. Okay, so these are the ones that all require Act 3 now. Um, this one you want to go east of Kin Sanctuary. Right on the coast, next to the Kin Lighthouse. So you can get two for one here. And you just want to grab that one right there. There's only three, I believe, um, in Act 3. So we'll go to the next one. Okay, and here's the next one. This is the Saigo Bamboo Strike. So it's just east of Saigo and west of Kin, in between the two. Uh, you just want to grab that one, and then you only have one more left. And this is the final one. This one is just in between Saigo and Kin. Right there, literally just north of Kin. And you just want to grab that one and then you're done. Congratulations, guys, on your maximum resolve. Enjoyed the episode? Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe most importantly. Don't know if you have a beautiful day and a bye bye.